Assalamu alaikum this is Dr Hasna with Hasna's Anatomy and today we're going to discuss the topic of arches of foot so what are arches of foot we all know that our foot is not flat it is elevated you can say an arch is formed beneath its surface on both sides or on whatever side it's formed the foot is basically arched that's a very important point there is a reason why the footprint is like this it is not a complete foot where are the missing pieces these missing pieces from the footprint are absent because of the arches of the foot arches meaning something that's elevating the foot so that it not completely touches the ground so now that you've got that concept it is necessary to know that arches are responsible for a couple of important functions that we'll discuss later in the video for now it is important to know that it allows you to walk on ground especially uneven ground so that when you are walking like that there are a lot of consequences that can happen with a flat foot but when you're walking with an arched foot it is perfectly constructed by god to help you walk all right so let's begin by talking about what arches are there in your foot first type of arches that are there in your foot are called the longitudinal arches then we have the transverse arches transverse means horizontal so there are two types of arches of the foot there are longitudinal that means the ones that run along the length of the foot and transverse arches that run basically that run on the you can say width of the foot all right in the longitudinal arches there are two types of arches the longitudinal arches are medial obviously on one side and lateral longitudinal arch let's suppose this is the foot so medial arch and a lateral longitudinal arch so there is the medial and lateral then we have the transverse arches these are the anterior and posterior transverse arches because your arches will be formed transversely anteriorly and then even here posteriorly because not only or not only is your foot arched in its longitudinal length but it is also arched horizontally so that means also arched like that you can see like horizontally all right so anterior arch lies anteriorly and the posterior transverse arch lies posteriorly all right so overall the foot is arched let's talk about these arches individually first let's talk about the medial longitudinal arch so if you remember the structure of foot you will recall that the medial longitudinal arch is basically going to lie on the medial side so we all remember if you view the foot from the medial side the bones are as follows there is going to be the three medial the cuneiform bones like the medial intermedial lateral the metatarsals navicular and calcaneum and above the calcaneum lies the talus all right so what are basically now we need to know how this arch is formed so there is going to be the first point of ends what is the anterior end of this arch what is the posterior end of this arch ends means the part of the arch that are coming in contact with the surface so they're basically asking suppose there is a medial longitudinal arch they're asking the point that is coming in contact with the surface anteriorly and the posteriorly so what are these two points in the medial longitudinal arch the anterior end is formed by the heads of the first second and third metatarsal bones and the posterior end is formed by calcaneum's medial tubercle all right because obviously on the medial side there is going to be a medial tubercle so we know the anterior and posterior ends of the medial longitudinal arch also remember to can say the word heads of the metatarsal heads are the distal part of the metatarsal bases and shafts are not involved in forming the ends all right so head of the metatarsal form first second third form the anterior end and the medial tubercle form the posterior end of the medial longitudinal arch now let's talk about the pillars of the anterior and posterior end what does pillar means means building blocks of the anterior and posterior parts of the arch so anterior pillar and a posterior pillar what are the pillars anteriorly if you can appreciate the metatarsal bones the cuneiform bones the navicular bone and the tarsal bone these are the anterior pillars of the medial longitudinal arch the posterior pillar of this arch is a single bone the calcaneus bones medial side all right what is the main joint involved in the medial longitudinal arch main joint 
there is just one joint you can see here that is quite obvious the talocalcaneo navicular joint it is very necessary to know that the medial arch is more exaggerated more resilient and more mobile than the lateral longitudinal arch because lateral longitudinal arch is not as exaggerated as the, as the medial longitudinal arch so medial longitudinal arch is more stronger resilient and higher than the lateral longitudinal arch now let's move on and talk about the lateral longitudinal arch all right so lateral longitudinal arch is going to be quite opposite to the medial longitudinal arch now we will view the foot this time from the lateral side let's talk about the ends of the lateral longitudinal arch obviously we're viewing the foot from the lateral side now so we'll see the cuboid bone all right so the cuboid bone can be seen on the lateral side so this time uh, the metatarsals involved are fourth and fifth metatarsals so what are the ends of the lateral longitudinal arch the anterior end is formed by the heads of the fourth and fifth metatarsal bones and posterior end by the lateral tubercle of the calcaneus quite similar to medial just opposite all right what are the anterior and posterior pillars of the arch anterior pillar is formed by the metatarsals and the cuboid bone and the posterior pillar by the lateral half of the calcaneum bone what is the main joint in this arch a very obvious joint you can see is calcaneo cuboid joint now let's talk about the summit of these arches summit means highest point all right so what is the highest point in case of medial longitudinal arch and the lateral longitudinal arch in the medial longitudinal arch the highest point is going to be obviously you can see the superior articular surface of the talus bone and in case of lateral longitudinal arch the summit is going to be the superior articular facets of the calcaneum bone meaning these are the highest points in both cases now let's talk about the transverse arches there is an anterior transverse arch and a posterior transverse arch the anterior transverse arch is basically going to be formed between the first to the fifth metatarsals so it will come horizontally all right so it will be arched like that so what are going to be the two ends of the anterior transverse arch the first and the fifth metatarsal bone what about the posterior transverse arch mostly the shafts of the uh, metatarsals the bases of the metatarsal and the tarsal bones are going to be forming the posterior transverse arch altogether the most interesting part about the posterior transverse arch is that the lateral side is going to be resting on the ground but the posterior transverse arch medially is not going to be having an end so you can say the posterior transverse arch is deficient medially it forms half a dome so as you can see the lateral border is resting on the ground but here no border is resting on the ground means arch is elev it's going to be like this as you can appreciate the lateral border will be coming to the ground but medially this arch is incomplete the summary is that anterior transverse arch is going to be formed by all the metatarsal bones and the posterior transverse arch will be formed by the metatarsal bones bases and the uh, tarsal bones all right the anterior transverse arch is going to uh, basically have two ends the first metatarsal and the fifth metatarsal while the posterior transverse arch has a lateral end which is resting on the ground incomplete medially so it forms half a dome so that was all for the understanding of these arches how they're formed and their pillars their ends their summits their main joints uh, in the next video i will discuss with you the various supports of the arches of the foot thank you so much for watching